Okay, it's July 10th and we're uh, test flying the uh, drone with all the latest software. We're going to turn the screen brightness up there a little bit, uh, you know, because it's, uh, even though it's kind of dusk, it's still sunny. So I want the screen at maximum brightness here, not worried about the uh, battery power on it here. So let's go ahead and get some of our settings in place here. Let's change that white balance just a little bit up oh, that's too much that, that's too too warm we want it warmed up a little bit but we don't want that warm so let's just kind of dialed in 62 looks good um 61 maybe just a little bit less okay that's uh I look, that's looking good um so okay so we got the our white balance set now let's uh let's get out of uh descent like video here and just go over to uh uh, normal here. There we go. Oh boy, now it's a little bit too warm. You know, um, I, I forgot I had the descent like last time I was testing, but uh, okay, um, we're a little bit warm there, but uh, you know, we're we're doing better here. Try to get the uh, you know the the pro settings up here. So um, okay, we're in 4K 30, which that's good, and that's uh, you know uh, kind of HDR. Now let's get our frame rate here. We're gonna get our uh, we're at 4K 30, so we get our shutter at 60, ISO at 100, so uh, we should be doing our, you know, uh, our, our rule of whatever there, you know, uh, doubling the um, the frame rate with the shutter. So here we go. Uh, you know, the drone is uh, taking off here. We're going down to the, uh, you know, the bay side, the island part of the bay side here, uh, looking around here. Um, you know, I talked to my good friend Marcus Crawford uh, the other night, and he reported he had a lot of issues on his last flight. So I'm looking for to see if I can see any issues here. He had stuff like the screen was freezing on him, and um, he lost connection. He never regained his his uh, not not you know he could fly the drone, but he, he lost his FPV connection. He could never regain it again here so uh it's a beautiful you know uh, uh sunset here tonight and unfortunately we don't have uh, too many great clouds but you see a few wispy clouds in the background there so let me go in here to the uh this is called um what is this place called here it's kind of like a uh you know like a uh, log cabin it's sort of like a social club there where they serve uh alcohol and have bands and stuff in there. So you can see a crane down there in the marina here uh, doing some work there. don't know exactly what they're doing there, but maybe we'll come back and uh, get some, uh, maybe circle that crane or, or try something a little bit later here. So we're just going to pan along here. You can see the Peekaboo Marina, the Swift Marina there. You go towards the Marguerite Toll Bridge there. And, uh, you know, so far, I mean, of course, we've not doing any range testing here, but... Uh, we're having no problems with the signal. Sorry about those fast shells there, but I'm not going to cut this here for right now. So let's go back to our our friendly crane here and um, see what we can do with that. So, uh, yeah, I, I, everything, things fly perfectly. We're going to go into our, ver our new vertical mode. That's one of the new features of the uh, Mini 3 Pro. It could do a uh, vertical video, Instagram, and TikTok. TikTok style. So uh, here's that dumb tutorial, which I, I must be some way you can turn it off forever. But uh, we're gonna draw the box around the crane, and then uh, you know we're gonna uh, you know see spotlight. We're gonna put it in point of interest mode here, so it keeps that uh, what's in the box in the center of frame here. So we're gonna do kind of a increase the speed there um, a little bit faster than the slow setting. So it's gonna. Um, you know, do an orbit around it and keep that crane as the point of interest there. Now, I already see something I did wrong here. I did not hit the record button, you know, and that's... Uh, some drones used to automatically start up when they were doing these kind of special shots, but uh, this one doesn't. And uh, so I did not record any of that except on the screen recording, which you were seeing. But we can always, uh, you know, go back again and do a reverse orbit and remember to hit the record button this time. So... We're going to hit that record button now. Okay, uh, and I hope we're still in 4K 30. Um, on the pro settings, I don't see where it tells me that. So let's 
Uh, I'm assuming I'm a 4K30 here, but I'm, you're never sure. Uh, these drones like to take your settings back to like 1080p when it's doing these kind of uh, special shots. But uh, I think we're good here. I think we're still 4K30. So you can you see uh, you can actually you know uh, uh, you know move the drone up and down or whatever. Um, you, you can move it any direction you want here as you're orbiting that good. So I kind of uh, moved the gimbal uh, down a little bit here, so you can easily do that, and it still maintains the orbit even though you're fussing with the, um, you know, the uh, gimbal up and down. So, okay, I think that worked out good. We stopped that video here. So, um, okay, we're going to turn back to the sunset. Still kind of overexposed. See, now when you get something like this where it's way overexposed, let me show you a little trick of what you could do to get that back, uh, that under control there, you know, because you don't want, you know, that, that's terrible there. So let's go into our pro settings again. Let's bump our shutter up here. Now, I know we're breaking the, the rule of uh, the 180 rule here, but you know, sometimes you know, sometimes you gotta break all the rules to get the shot you want. So, see, now with our, we're up to one over 200, one over 240. Now, the sun's looking good, but you want to balance it out with how dark um, the lower part of the image is with how good the sun looks. So, I think one to 200 is a perfect balance of you know, making that sun look like a sunball, but still not putting everything in the foreground, the shadows. So, yeah, it looks real good there. So that's, that's your trick there if your sun's blown out. Just uh, go in there and, and play with your shutter a bit. So, okay, we're going to start recording there. We're going to fly towards it. This will make a look real good Instagram, uh, Instagram reel, you know, YouTube short, Facebook story. They call it on Facebook, uh, TikTok, uh, you know, um, all those mediums that love the, uh, the new profile features. I mean, Gorgeous sunset tonight. I wish we had some clouds up there, but uh, you know the thing. The funny thing was, it was cloudy all day today, and then you know when I come down here, you get the sunset. All of a sudden, the clouds are gone. So you know, can't win on this type of stuff. <coughs> Sorry for the cough, there, folks. Okay, while we're here, let's get a nice photo here too. I'm gonna get a drink of water here as I'm. Wrong. So let's do some auto exposure bracketing here because so we want to, you know, we don't, we don't know if we're going to get the right, you know, overexposed, underexposed. So we're going to get, get one of, one of each and one's just right. So we got three brackets there. One of them will be right. And I thought we can blend them all together and create like a little HDR too. If, if, if you know, if that works the best here. Let's do a 48 megapixel one there too. Get, get one of those real high high definition photos there so got ourselves covered there with the, the three brackets and that 48 megapixel one so hopefully in our editing room we can uh make that all good okay so you saw i kind of folk refocus the screen there too and look how I, uh you know the the foreground was really in the shadows but now we've opened it back up here again we've gone back to landscape mode and uh sun still looks good at the one over 200 shutter um, white balance I think is still good there so we're going to bring the drone down a little bit in height here we got a got a little high there I think that that's pretty good there 172 and uh, let's try hyperlapse here um, let's try maybe a, a, a course lock one and the beauty of the course lock is you what you could do is you can um do the course lock one direction, but turn the drone another. So I'm going to fly this direction. See that lock on mouse? I'm going to hit that and then uh, aim it and then hit the lock button. Now you already saw I, I tapped the lock button, but I missed it. So it didn't lock. So we're going to have to um, go try that again here. So, uh, you know, okay. If that direction, see, it's reminding me I did not lock it again. I just mistapped the screen there. You know, I attempted to hit that lock button. So let's try it again here. We're going to fly this direction along the bay here and then, you know, look out over the salt marshes to the, uh, okay, now it's yellow. So we know we got it locked this time. So let's get down here and set our other settings here. Oh, there goes a boat by. So it's going to be two second interval. That's good. Length, let's make it a little bit longer than five seconds. Let's go all the way up to, how about 10 seconds? Or how about nine? Nine seconds. And we'll go a little bit faster than the one mile per hour. Let's go up to about, uh, there you go. 2.7, so we'll get a, a good movement there. Okay, so we're going to aim the drone, the camera, towards the sun, but because, because we have that course lock set, 
the drone will fly south. Like I'm looking west now, but the drone is now flying south. Okay, we started the process here, and uh, let's see here. You'll see the photos count down here in a second here. We take a six. See the, the 7 and 225, that's the number of photos we need, 225, and then the current number right now. And the minutes there are how long it's going to take to complete this. So um, I'm going to speed this up uh, along in the video here. You don't really need to see, um, you know, this whole, this whole thing here, but uh, we'll come back when it's over. All right, folks, we're getting near the end here. It's only eight seconds left. Uh, we got only four, need four more photos, three more photos. It's almost done here. So, and we're about 2,500 uh, feet now. So uh, it's on the edge of my line of sight. So I'm glad it stopped now. So it's creating a video now. Uh, it's going to process it in camera for us. It'll spit out a uh, MPEG-4 file that's ready to go. Which, uh, okay, so now we're just going to, Return home. We'll let the drone fly back rather than me do the flying back. Okay, we're going to fly back over here where we are. I said, you know, um, so I, I saw no issues with the signal whatsoever. Um, it went all the way out there. I mean, I know I cut the video off on you, but you didn't want to sit there and watch that thing slowly go out. We had no signal issues or range issues whatsoever during that hyperlapse getting out of there now. Of course, I'm over open water here and I have no obstructions between me and the drone. And I kept the controller pointed right at the drone the whole time. So I kind of did everything right there. Uh, all conditions were good. So, um, but again, I'm I'm experiencing no lockups on the screen. Well, you've seen the screen recording right then. Okay, see the pro say now my shutter was way out of, out of whack there. So um, I'm going to, put on auto here that'll get the shutter back to um you know a uh workable uh rate there where we, you know we're properly exposed here so just remember folks uh, if, you, if you don't understand the shutter the shutter is your friend it will help uh help control most aspect aspects of your exposure especially under tricky exposure like this um so the mat, you know any direction i turn the exposure greatly changes like here it's going to be a big swing in the exposure here so if i had a manual here i would have to do a big adjust from the way i was flying uh before so okay well let's see what else we could do here uh let's go get some night the photos all i mean the sun's almost down now so let's see if we can catch her uh, a couple of nice photos here of that sun now that's you know getting ready to set there so, okay, we were doing three brackets before. Let's go five brackets because this could be tricky here. And, and I like the fact that we got some clouds off to the left now. Oops, I hit, I hit the button too many times and I got out of the, uh, the fly part of the app. Now, don't get, don't get worried if that happens to you. I just hit the button too many times. You can, the drone's still flying. It's still doing all this thing. You can tap right back into that flight screen without messing anything up here. So uh, we just, okay, we grabbed a couple brackets there, and we're trying to center the sun in a row of, row of thirds there. I had it on the, you know, the one third, now I'm doing it on a different third, and this one's capturing more of the bridge, but we don't have the clouds in it like we did before. So kind of everything's a trade-off in photography here, if you, you know, so, you know, like I like this, I like this, you know, four thirds angle better than the other one but i like the fact the other one had the clouds in so again every, everything's a compromise i always take um you know both photos and uh then i'll i'll, I'll you know look over and post and see which one you know is really the better photo so um i'm taking all the all of course all these are jpegs plus raws here that's one of the settings in there you can take both at the same time so of course the raws give you more flexibility in your post editing which is you know always a good thing so, um, yeah, I, I just can't uh, tell you how good of a flight this was. It's just a pure pleasure, you know, to fly this uh, drone tonight. Uh, again, I know a lot of people have a lot of issues with this drone. 
and uh, I'm, I'm not saying you don't. I can only show you my experience with the drone. I mean, I know people say, can you comment on the overheating issues and the range issues and so on? And uh, I, I really am only, you know, uh, I, 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 it's really only a battle for me to, to compromise on what I'm seeing. I mean, to comment on what I'm seeing with my own drone, commenting on what's going on with somebody else's drones, you know, uh, really doesn't mean anything, you know. Um, uh, I can say I can only show you the experiences I'm having with this drone, and uh, for the most part, they're you know they're very positive. So okay, it's time that we can kind of bring this drone back in here. Now we're of course we're only 155 feet away, 116 feet up. So you know we're right over the the marina here now. So we're gonna wind up here in a couple minutes here. Maybe we can look around. Maybe there's one more shot or so we could grab it. You know, I got plenty of battery left here, 29%. I'm not even worried about the battery at this point because I'm so close that I can land this thing and, you know, in seconds at this point. So I, that's always a power tip too. Like when you're, when you're low on battery, bring it, bring it back real close to you and you still kind of can hang up there and get some last shots of the day and that type of thing. But you're so close that, you know, um, if anything happens, the drone's just, you know, right there. So, grabbing some more, a couple more photos here at the end. And some, that's probably my last sunset photo of the day. So, let's, let's bring it overhead and, uh, you know, start to, start to really bring it down now. Let's we'll take one more look here. Is it worth, is it worth grabbing another shot, folks? Maybe, maybe not. But we'll bring it, you know, we'll bring it in, bring it down. A little bit lower, a little bit lower. There we go. Maybe we'll grab one more shot at that angle. Just a little bit of sun peeking over the horizon. All right. That was the final shot of the day. Let's, uh, let's bring this down here. We'll slowly bring it down. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed this uh, flight, uh, the uh, test flight of uh, the... Um, Mini 3 Pro, uh, with all the latest firmware and stuff, I will put all the firmware numbers, app, app numbers, RC numbers down below, but this is all the latest stuff. Um, I, I, though, except I was running this a 1.6.8, one uh, even though 1.6.9 is app, app update is out, up, out, at least for iOS, it doesn't seem to appear on the um, uh, RC, RC Pro, uh, I mean, DGRC controller yet. So otherwise, okay, folks. Uh, have a good evening. Thanks for joining me, and we will definitely see you in the next one.